Caledonia is one step closer to breaking away from the Racine Unified School District. The village would like to start its own school district. Katie Crowther joins us live with new information on this. Katie. Hey, Carol and Mike, you know, do the majority of Caledonia taxpayers want to create their own school district? Well, the village board tonight voted to put that very question on the ballot in April's election. And if interest is there, they plan to move forward. Many parents in Caledonia want to cut ties with the Racine Unified School District and instead create neighborhood schools. I think that a smaller class sizes, smaller community, all being within the same area is just a more ideal setting for our kids. But building schools and becoming its own new district would come with a hefty price tag for Caledonia. What it's going to do is raise my taxes even more so and uh, I just don't need it. A spokesperson for the Racine School District is not sure of the rationale. She says Racine gets more state funding than a smaller district would get. They get a lot of benefits right now from being part of a, a larger school district, a lot of opportunities for students, uh, a lot of different choices. And ultimately, the Racine School District gets the final say. As the law stands now, they can veto Caledonia's request to break away. A local state senator is working to change that. If the municipality has the ability and the resources and the business plan and uh, the ability to uh, create an opportunity which is going to be better for their constituents and give their, uh, their municipality some identity by having their own school district, a local neighborhood school, they should have that opportunity. And we're told Governor Scott Walker is keeping close tabs on this issue as well. And also, you know, Caledonia isn't the only village going through this process right now. Sturdivant is also looking to possibly break away from the Racine Unified School District, and they're also going through the process. We'll have to keep tabs and see what happens. Reporting live, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. We will do just that. Thank you, Katie.